911, what's the nature of your emergency? Welcome back to the Tactical Living Podcast. I'm your host, Ashley Walton, joined by Detective Walton. Clint, how are you? I'm good. Before you went to work yesterday, we were watching a show, and there was this officer who is driving past this Corvette, and the Corvette is a convertible. And this officer later ends up pulling over this Corvette because they were swerving around. The passenger door swings wide open, and this this officer... When he approaches this vehicle, goes up to the driver's side, and he's asking, like, buddy, what's what's the matter? Why are you swerving around? Your door just flew open. Is everything okay? This driver has the most unexpected response. And he says, buddy, you were just smiling at my girlfriend. Yes, I'm mad, and this is why. And she's mad because you were just smiling at her. And you hear this woman just dramatically crying. You smiled at me, and now he's. So dumbfounded, and I'm laughing my ass off because <laughs> they replay the video and you see the officer with intention, like smiling at the vehicle, not necessarily a female, and lingering on that smile as he's taking the turn. And it was just so funny. And it got me thinking about how I have I have accidentally gotten myself into trouble like that many, many times because I am the type of person to where if you make eye contact with me, I have to smile at you. Mm -hmm. I want to just take my heart and just pour it into you. And you can see that in my face. You can, I could feel myself light up when I make that type of human connection with somebody else. And it doesn't matter if it's male or female. Like I just, I love love and I just love being happy. And I love that kind of spiritual connection that exists between two complete strangers when both of us are linking our energy in that way. And I didn't know that there was actually something that has been studied on this. And I was like, wow, that's just like me. Mm -hmm. And it made me so excited to learn about it. So I wanted to share that a little bit today and how to create an understanding that positivity actually lingers. And there's somebody called Barbara Fredrickson, and she wrote a book called Love 2.0. And she talks about something called positivity resonance. And when I heard that term, positivity resonance, and she goes into depth about explaining how the simple connection that we can make with somebody, especially a complete stranger, um, she uses the concept of looking at strangers and then seeing God in their eyes or seeing the highest version of themselves. And certainly we don't know what that is, right? They're strangers to us, but there are many people who enjoy things like people watching and we come up with these stories about what could be with these people. And I, I never understood that this is actually to a T of what I feel when I have those simple interactions with strangers. And I can't tell you how many times I have been able to have these rich conversations with complete strangers because I raised my hand and waved metaphorically, right, with that eye contact and that true meaningful smile where I smile with my eyes and I'm, I'm just feeling them and I'm letting them feel me to where we're no longer complete strangers, right? You know you know me a little bit now. This is what, what my soul connection is, right, when we're connecting eye to eye like that, to where I've had these conversations with complete strangers that have allowed me to walk away from that conversation just feeling so warm and fuzzy inside. Mm -hmm. And that's why she she talks about in this Love 2.0 book, positivity that lingers. And it's so true. That's why it's called positivity resonance, because it's this type of energy that just exists even after that interaction with each other. Yeah, it's something that, I mean, if we put ourselves on the receiving side of it, and when you come in contact with someone who's, very nice and bubbly. There's no expectation of anything. It's just a straight, a nice, a nice contact with another human being that you've never met before. We've had, and, and I've noticed this, we've had conversations with people we've never once met. And, and it's based off of both of us have smiled and looked at somebody and just said hi. And, and they've told us shit that we're like, 
wow. And, was, and we were, it's not shocking, but it was more so of they were really open and honest with us about where they were in that, that point in time to where they felt comfortable expressing this to complete strangers and sharing their story with us. And we were open to receiving it. And then everyone walked away like, wow, that was, that was really cool that we had that conversation. It's so sad that it's rare to have that type of connection with people these days. And it's my belief that it happens so frequently to both of us because we are those, those carriers of open doors, mm-hmm. right? We make it easy for people to, number one, feel comfortable, and number two, we are doing it without any intention, right? I'm not expecting to receive something from somebody. I'm very hopeful that when I look at somebody and I smile at them, that they're going to give me a smile back. And it hurts my feelings a little bit when I smile at somebody and then they don't smile back at me. They give you the poo-poo face. <laughs> yeah. And then in my head, that's when my, my people watching goes into high caliber Because then I start making up these stories like, wow, if that person can be so bitter that they can't even smile back when someone smiles at you, these are all the terrible things that must be going on in their life, right? And I think that by being this sort of portal for people, and we can all do it, even if we allow ourselves to just try to do it once a week, right? Anytime that we have the ability to gift somebody with that, I think about some of the harder times in my life and how nice it would have been to receive that from a complete stranger. There's something beautiful to be said about having, and I'm going to air quote, support from a complete stranger in that way, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, having that connection and maybe somebody says something that opens up a conversation during the time when my mom just died and maybe them sharing something with me that would bring me comfort because their experience is so much different than my own. And me being able to do the same thing for for somebody, um, whether it's pertaining to that or to something else, I think it's important for us to understand that that positivity that will continue to linger is is such a great thing for so many reasons. Not only because of the endorphins, that, you know, that chemical hit that we get from that interaction, we get a chemical hit. Like, think about that. Like, after you just have this fire conversation with these strangers, I know that I've walked away feeling like I'm on the top of the world. And I just think about like that whole conversation. And then something else happens because maybe I come home and I tell Clint about it and Clint can feel my energy and he feels I can feel Clint feeling me with my energy right now as I'm just talking about this type of engagement. And you know, me recalling the story and talking about what was said and how how maybe we connected and exchanged phone numbers, like whatever the thing is, right? That that lingering energy continues and it's not only just my own now, now I get to share it. And mm-hmm. I think that is such a cool thing. And and it's so neat, especially say you, you start out and, and I'm just gonna use the grocery store as an instance. You start out, you walk in and you smile at someone and it turns into a conversation. And then you keep going, you progress, and you end up seeing that person more throughout your travels, uh, throughout the store. But then you see someone else, and you do the same thing, and then you have a whole like it's a it's a domino effect, and and it's really true. Is it all, doesn't always happen, but there's been times where we're walking around the store, we've had like four or five conversations with people, and we've never met a single one of them before. I love that you mentioned that because. There is something incredible that happens when other people that have that shared energy understand that, hey, those are my people. Those people are receptible and they're open to receiving. So let me pretend like I need to grab something off the shelf that just so happens to be close (laughs) to them. Right. Like that does. It happens all the time. And and the reality is, is they want to feed off of that energy, too, because when you're in that state and you're sharing that your your body's shaking and it has not shaking physically but you're 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 exuding that would be a little that, creepy that would be creepy <laughs> <laughs> you're exuding that energy cuz you're that positivity that happiness that everything associated to it the word you were looking for is vibration vibration yes <laughs> thank you but and those people they feed off of it and they want to be close to you and and to feel that and then and then subsequently it results in another conversation and you share that energy more so and it just progresses there and there and then you have a full store of happy people yeah and what a beautiful (laughs) thing to have right so 
positivity that truly lingers. I hope that you can allow yourself to connect with people on a deeper, a deeper micro level in this way. And I'll go ahead and I'll drop the link to Barbara's book, Love 2.0, down in the description below. If you've got any value out of today's episode, do us a favor, drop a review, subscribe down below. And as always, know that I'm sending you a long, tight hug from my home to yours.